Hello, my name is Jeff Williams, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to do CA hinges. I'm uh, pretty excited about this new airplane. It's a Legacy Aviation muscle bipe. Uh, this would be one of the wings on it. Uh, CA hinges, no matter what the surface is, they're all pretty much the same. So we're going to just talk about this today since this is the model that we're working on. Uh, CA hinges um, are very popular in the smaller size airplanes. So I'm going to begin, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this control surface off here. And what you'll see is there's uh, four hinges in here. And uh, my goal is, or what your goal should be for any of them, would be that the control surface fits on properly. So check your slots in each of these. Uh, that they, the CA hinge will actually fit in there because once in a while I find that some of these are, are a little clogged up um, and you can just take an X-Acto and dip it down in there and just work it back, okay, like that, and that will open, open it up if it's uh, got some debris or maybe some glue got in there or something. So right now I have uh, all four of these and we'll go ahead and take them out. You can see they're not glued and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, there's some different methodologies on this. I'll tell you what I do and I'll tell you what all I've seen. So, and you can take the one you like. And after you've done literally hundreds of these, uh, as I have, you develop your own routine. But uh, anyway, some people will um, take and measure these and get the uh, length of it and then make a mark in the middle with a pencil or a crayon or a sharpie. Uh, sometimes people, um, like wherever they're going in here, they'll, they'll make a sharpie the same exact color as the covering to kind of, because once you get done, you will see it very small amount. So they'll put a sharpie to uh, match the color. Uh, that's a little bit of dress, uh, kind of finishing touch on it, if you will. Uh, these are all white, so I'm going to leave it white. Uh, some people will take and uh, bend them in the middle to kind of sort of break them in, sort of. Uh, I don't do that, but uh, that's another thing. Um, some things people do that I don't recommend um, is to pre-soak them in CA uh, before you put it in there. I wouldn't do that. You want this, uh, this has got um, almost like a felt-like uh, touch on the um, exterior of these, and uh, we want that to soak up that CA, so if you do that prior to going in, uh, I don't think it glues up uh, as strongly as it should. Uh, they're meant to put in and then glue. Uh, but you want to be able to keep these centered, okay? So if you want to make a slight little mark on there or something, uh, sometimes I'll just take a felt tip and I'll put it the tiniest of dots on there, or I just look at it, put my fingers in about halfway like this, and I put it in the center of that slot down and until I get about half of it sticking out. So that looks like about half. I'll just measure, eyeball off another one. Put another one down in here, like that. Until I get them all down in there and I just put them in the center of the slot. Of course, I've already taken the time to look up and make sure it fits down on there and that these slots match the slots in here because they, they, they could be off. Just enough to kind of make things difficult. And of course, if they don't fit, you can always take and uh, widen these slots just a tad with your X-Acto knife. Uh, I'm just using a number 11 blade there. So now you can see I got them all ready to go. Now, the problem is we got them centered and that's great, but how do we keep them there? Because when this comes down on that, it's gonna wanna push them down in there. So one popular method I've seen a lot of people use is they'll take a pin and push it down in there. Now, let me bring the camera in uh, with this. And what I'm gonna show you is that this has a very um, small slot in there, okay? See that slot is um, right there, okay? And if I put a pin in this part of that, a pinhole in that part of that part. I don't have a lot of hinge area right there, and I wanna try to maintain that. So even some of the, if you use a different brand, like uh, Radio South or Sonic Tronics, 
Um, in fact, Extreme Flight sells Sonictronics if you don't want to use these. Um, some of the other brands don't have that particular slot in there. Uh, at any rate, I don't care. I advocate not putting a hole in there because it introduces a, another point, a weak point, especially in these. Now, if this was full and you wanted to put one in the center, it probably wouldn't hurt anything. But on these, I would definitely not put a pinhole in these and um, just to keep it centered. So the problem is, how do you keep it centered? Okay. Oh, and one other thing, make sure they're not tilted over like that. Okay. I'll uh, bring that up a little bit more. You can see how I got that one tilted over. That's incorrect. Make sure they're all nice and perpendicular to your hinge line. So uh, what I have here is uh, CA glue. Uh, this just happens to be Zap, Thin CA, whatever the brand you choose. Um, it needs to be Thin CA and it needs to be fresh. Um, and if it's fresh and thin, it'll be very... Uh, it's, it's, they're usually like a five centipoise, which means they're basically like water, okay? So what I want to bring in again is see this, uh, what I have on the end there is a little tip. And that tip is going to allow me to precisely put a drop of glue. So in this slot, there's a little bit of a slot to the side of this hinge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to put actually put, put the just barely in there and I'm going to make a little squeeze so I get about a drop of CA down in there. Okay, on each of these. And I'm doing this real time and that way the, the glue actually goes down into this little uh, slot where the CA hinge is Okay, and it only takes just a, just a little drop, okay? I'm gonna take a second and let that go. Now, it sets up pretty quick. What that little one little drop of glue to the side of this hinge out here is it catches just enough of this hinge, it'll keep it right where it's at, okay? So you don't wanna use much. And now, uh, thin CA sets up really quick. Now I can bring this on, and you kinda gotta start at an angle so I'm starting down at this inboard root end and I am working it onto the hinges very, very cautiously. Now, if you made that dot, what you can do, or if you make a line now, is you can watch that that hinge does not break that glue joint and push it down in, okay? So I'm kind of just watching. Now, what I do is I just kind of wiggle the surface back and forth as I go down with it and that helps it to work down on there without bending it. Because you don't, the other thing can happen is that hinge will get on and this control surface will possibly grab onto it and it kinks the hinge, okay? So what I do when I'm done is I pull it back out just a little bit, it looks good. Now, I wanna make sure I'm not rubbing against one of these ends here, okay? So I'm free, so that's, more critical than your stripes, okay? So make sure the surface is pressed down hinge line to hinge line, okay? And then make sure you have a free moving surface, okay? That it's not rubbing up against one of these ends, okay? Now what I'll do is I will go and line up my lines and make sure that I maintain a good gap, okay? So we're looking pretty good. And I'm real happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take my glue and I'm going to deflect the surface to where I can see that hinge. And I'm going to begin to just drop a tiny drop or two of glue on each one. Okay. Making sure that's pressed down. Now I'll just let that set for a few seconds. Uh, probably about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to push it over, or a minute or two is even better if you've got the kind of time. Um, and then I'll deflect this side over here, and I'll drop it on the top. The other thing nice about this tip is it does not allow the glue to just run out there. 
In fact, I've got this one so tight, it's tough to see where the hinge is, which is a good thing. We, we like them. All right, so work the hinge just a little bit, let that glue get down in there and spread it around. And then I'm gonna let it set for another couple minutes. Then I'm gonna repeat it again. I'm gonna push this over just a drop or two, probably about two, since this is so, letting so minute amount of CA out of the tip, I'll probably just put about two drops on each one, let it set for a couple minutes, a couple drops on each one, and um, then it's good to go. Okay, so that's how you do a CA hinge. I um, hope this video has helped you. Once again, uh, thank you for purchasing your Extreme Flight product. Hope you have very uh, many enjoyable flights with it. Thank you.